All right, guys, I'm back again. As you can see, my table is a mess right now. <laughs> I got about five cars I'm working on. But the one I'm working on today is the 3S Typhon. I bought these ZD shocks off of Amazon. And, of course, they don't send you the, the ball that goes with the shock itself. So... I didn't have a ball to fit it. Went to my local hobby shop. They didn't have nothing to fit it. So we come up with a good idea as using this tube. And this tube works great. It's perfect. It's just the right size to fit inside that shock. Um, as you can see, I got a piece cut already. Kind of show you what goes in there. Of course, I'm holding my phone one-handed instead of using my my small rig. But, as you can see, it fits in there perfect. It's not loose. <clears throat> it's got a very little play. But you got to have play with your shocks. That way, when they're moving up and down and everything else, you got play in there. But they are working. Um... It's just a quick fix until I can find the right part, but it does work. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on it. It's not real big, but it helps. Um, as you can see, I've got this one mounted already, and I've got the two fronts mounted. And you can see a little bit of the bright shine right in there. There you go. You can see it shining back in there. And it worked great. Um, when you go to tighten it down, it does lock into the plastic. So, to keep it from moving up and down. Because uh, it does move a little bit with the screw. Because the screw's not a perfect fit. As you can see. There's still some play in there. I mean, there's not a lot, but there's enough to where... I was kind of worried about it, but <clears throat> that'll kind of help a little bit. It might bend the screw if one of them has come loose, but with the way it's tightened down and the how tight it is, I don't think I'm going to have that problem because it's mounted in the screw itself. So give you guys a couple other things uh this is for the mad van finally got me a 2s battery that it fit i put the new connector on the end of it i've done that this morning and them shocks are i don't know what to do with them 40 bucks out the door in the trash probably never use them can't believe they leak as much as they do but i am going to try the teflon tape see if that helps we'll see what happens with that um as you can see i got my 6000 kv motor and that is going to go into that truck there once i get everything figured out i'm going to have to buy another es or a receiver to be able to make it work, which I was hoping I didn't have to do that. I got my diff fluid for my rift, so it's going to be fixed. You can see it sitting right there. And I've been working on crawler tires. <laughs> Went with Big Head a couple weeks ago, if you guys hadn't seen the video. Uh, Big Head's got a good video. Um, I'm actually putting two-stage foams and these rims here for my TRX4. That's the first one I got put together. And it seems like it's going to be a good tire. I think it's going to be a little bit better. I don't think I'll get as much sidewall uh, droop. I don't know. I guess that's what you'd call it. But it won't roll down to the rim when I go over a rock. It won't go all the way down and tire roll over and everything. So I kind of learned a lot you know crawling on the rocks crawling around your house in the yard and 
little trees and stuff like that small stuff yeah there there's a big difference between this tire and what i had uh which is basically a stock tire like this real squishy so now it's not as squishy <clears throat> so that's going to help me a lot as far as controllability and crawling up rocks and stuff i think so got those going uh got the battery lead done for the losi drag car got my battery for it so it's ready um as you can see i still got rims and the if you want to know what rims i got for the crawler it's the ssd yeah i paid 55 dollars a set yeah so i've got these to go on there which is a steel rim uh i like the steel rim because it makes it heavy on the bottom where you need it um I've got the parts for the Vortex. So the Vortex is coming back real soon. You can see I got it all cleaned up. No more dust all over it. Looks brand new again. Rare and ready to go. Um, I didn't make a video of it, but I did break the big rock. I've got it fixed. Front stabilizer arm here. Uh, snap the end of it. I mean, I don't know. I see everybody beat these things to death, and I take it out for five minutes, and I break the dang <laughs> tie rod in. So, it's coming back finally. <laughs> so, guys, you know, I'm going to bring out the Team Associated SC10. That's coming out. I'm going to send it off the ramp. So... I'm kind of working on things, still waiting for the 6S uh, system for my Max. I kind of don't want to run it until I get that system. The company that I ordered it from off of Amazon didn't come through. They've messed me up. So, I might end up, depending on how long it takes, I'm getting ready to reorder it. Um, if it takes longer than what I think, I'm going to go ahead and bust this out on the 4S. If I blow the motor, I blow the motor. So, I, I think it's too heavy for that motor and ESC. 4S is a good system, don't get me wrong. But for that weight ratio, I think it's not enough for that. So, we'll see what happens. And then we got the Red Max coming out soon. Got the battery for the Mad Van. So, the Mad Van's coming out. So, got a few things coming up, guys. Um, just getting there. Just want to jump on, let you know what's up. All the projects I, I got going on, in which I got a lot of them. I mean, look at my table. Got the infraction, or the limitless stuff here. Got my crawler tires here. Got my two-stage foams here. I went ahead and went with these because the hobby store had them. Yeah, I know. I could have got them 20 bucks for all four on Amazon. But, you know, when you're in a rush, you pay a little extra. We got the Rift. Got the UDIRC. We still got the, a lot of little things coming up. So, But I wanted to come on and show you this little fix-it quick fix. Not real expensive. You don't have to do a lot. You know, you don't have to search for all those little parts and stuff. And if you, you know, you don't want to wait, do what I'm doing. It works. <laughs> Pop it right through, so. But guys, definitely, you know, check it out. Sometimes you got to cut corners. I cut some corners. We'll see if it works out or not, so. You guys have a good day, a good night, no matter what. Just have a good one. And we'll see what I'm going to break next. Have a good day.